You're doing it all wrong. Whatever, waltzing's whack. Not like I had a choice in the matter. By the way, Manny, you're looking good. You've really grown up. Okay, Jubert, let's not forget you're my cousin. Second cousin. Ew. This whole day boo thing is so not me. Oh, Manuela, please don't start again. You know it's tradition. We've been planning your debut for years. I had one. Your Lola did. You only turn 18 once, right? But it's so old school, Mom. Couldn't I just hit up a karaoke club with some of my friends? Your friends are here, and Uncle Eduardo has karaoke. <sighs> That's not the point. I thought when I moved back home, I'd be able to make my own choices. Whatever. Forget it. Forget what? All the gift money from the family? No, university tuition doesn't grow on trees. Manuela, please, just do as your father asks. Learn the waltz. You don't want to dance with Jubert? I'll show you. Jubert, waltz now. At least he let us use his shiny black trula to get us to school. If it's that bad, why not talk to him? How 95th generation Canadian of you. What's that supposed to mean? Your family's all like, let's discuss our feelings. But in my house, my dad barks orders and we listen. What does that have to do with being Canadian? You just don't get it. Oh, I get it. You're dead. Oh. So when our demo gets some action, I was thinking I could design the CD cover. Did you want to finish my bagel? It's that bad, huh? They're great. I just think we should lower expectations with this whole music thing. You're right. Who wants to hear from a rapping wheelchair gimp? That's not it. What's with you? I'm sorry. I'm starting some intense physio today, and I'm just gearing up to be let down again. I know you want to walk, but if it doesn't happen, who cares? Still you inside, right? My life is over. It's a scratch, a denty scratch. It might as well be on fire. Relax. Sean's old boss Tony can fix anything. All will be fine. <laughs> Looks like a tree jumped out and hit you, eh? Happens a lot when girls drive. Ha ha. Jay, where's Tony? He's busy. Ever since Sean left, he's short staff. You heard from him? Sean? He's still in the army. Still not coming to his senses. Give me a couple days, it'll be as good as new. Um, how about a couple hours? I'm serious. My dad's coming in this university prep thing at school, and if this car's not in the lot, then I'm roadkill. Well, I could clear my schedule, but uh, it's gonna cost you. What if I told you that I was about to come into a lot of money? What kind of money? The kind the Filipino community showers on a girl in her 18th year. As in a lot. I've got it covered. And we need a ride to school. Deal. Oh. Ah. Okay, I need a break. Oh. This is rough. Next time, don't give up so quickly. Thanks. I have a therapist. Good, because I'm only a student at TU. Social work, you? 
I'm still in high school. Kind of got held up. So what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, taller? So he has a sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of have to when you're stuck in a stupid wheelchair. Sorry. Who are you to make judgment on me based on, like, three seconds of observation? Just seemed to me like you needed a push. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and get back to me, Kay. Today, I'm going to give you the tools to help you make some good financial decisions regarding your child's post-secondary education. So with some smart planning, you can send your child to school, to university, without losing your shirt. Are there any scholarships you can recommend for the BSc? Oh, I thought Manny was pursuing a program in theater. Uh, yeah, so did I. You're good at science, Manuela. Acting you can do on the side. Uh, but this is my dream. When she's paying for her education, she can do whatever she wants. Science scholarships, please. Thank you. We already talked about it. She resists her debut. Then she turns her back on science. She could have a great opportunity, Julieta, and I don't want her to throw it away. All done mapping out my life? What did you park, Manuela? Uh... I parked oh, right over there. Not a scratch on it. How was physio? It was good. It was eye-opening. What happened to my rap track? Uh, I, I must have mastered it wrong. I hope it was on there when you sent it to the record label. Did you hear anything back? I mean, did they like it? Jimmy, your track's not on there because I took it off. When, when Craig's album came out, I realized that I put aside my music for him. And then you put me aside for your music. I just needed to take the next step on my own. They didn't want you without my rap. I wasn't trying to hurt you. You've had so many disappointments. Yeah. And you're the biggest. Tell me lies. Tell me lies. Thank you. You totally saved my ass. Hey, I'm awesome. Your dad will never know the difference. He cared about me half as much as he did about that car. Hey, it's a 14-year-old car that looks like it was just driven off the lot. You gotta respect a guy like that. How can I respect someone when he thinks every choice I make is wrong? Best choose to steer clear of me, because... I'm daddy hate bait. You ever been to a debut? A debut? Yeah, it's kind of like a big debutante ball thing. Listen, be my escort. And if you're on your worst behavior, then I'll pay double for the car repairs. Family drama, eh? Count me in. There's an open bar, I assume. And a free get to know my parents dinner tomorrow. Score. Wear something grimy. Mm. Mm. More halo halo, Jay. Oh, hells yeah, Mrs. S. Whatever this is, it is delicious. Has our daughter explained to you the importance of tomorrow night? 
Uh, 18th year, 18 candles, 18 lords of leaping. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Whoops. Well, uh, you certainly have a better attitude than she does. I got it. Chamois time. These chamois are amazing. I use them all the time at the shop. So you're a car guy, are you? He's a mechanic and a dropout. You didn't finish high school? Actually, Dad, Jay got expelled. You're 20, 21? Nobody knows for sure. Manuela, don't interrupt. I'm speaking to Jason. Thank you, sir. Actually, my boss is teaching me how to run a business. And you think that's enough to set up the rest of your life? Well, he started with a bank loan, and now he's got a big house in Forest Hill, a Jag, a wife that you wouldn't kick out of bed for eating crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you have goals, Jay. No, he doesn't. Really, none. There's nothing wrong with honest hard work. Sure beats acting, eh? <laughs> ah. Let me know what you think. The five P's of prosperity. Chapter one day booze. With all those presents, you can make a killing. <laughs> pleasure meeting you. An unexpected pleasure. Oh, not the kind of guy you think I'd invite to my debut, huh? High school dropout? Yes, but he seemed determined to make the best for himself. So it's OK for him to be a screw up, but not me? I never called you that. No, you just make me feel like one. You wanted to bring your own escort to the debut. Your father's just trying to be accommodating. But he, I mean. Ah! Keep going. Awesome job. Good, good. Hey, I was hard on you yesterday. I'd get it if you want to roll me over with your wheelchair. No, no, I mean, uh, you being hard on me was what I needed. I'm back, right? Well, I guess you should know who's terrorizing you. I'm Trina, semi-professional hard ass. Jimmy Brooks, aspiring wheelchair escaper. <laughs> so what brings you to this lovely physio center? Well, um, two years ago, I was rock climbing, lost my grip. When I woke up, couldn't move my legs. I'm sorry. Hey, it's old news. Don't feel sorry for me. What about you? School shooting. Ripped from the headlines. I was even the star basketball player at Degrassi. That was you? Yeah. Oh, crazy. How did your family and friends take it? If I only had a dime for every single time that someone's gone, your back is broken, but you're still the same person. Same here. Totally same here. It's like the more positive they tried to be, the more pissed off I got. Mm. It's like I'm not the same person I was. Me neither. I... I don't know who I am. You didn't die the day you were shot, Jimmy. You were given a second chance. So grab onto it. Hey. Okay. <laughs> and to this day, cold fusion remains in the realm of fiction rather than science. Not that there's anything wrong with science fiction movies. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Manny. Good stuff. Now, this might label me as a sci-fi nerd. You're becoming quite the science but geek, Miss Santos. <laughs> Good game, since I'll be spending the rest of my life in a lab. Maybe you can play a scientist in movies. Old glasses half Phil Nelson. At least you have Plan J. Right, the one where he and my dad become best friends. No matter what I do, my dad wins. It is completely science fiction. Cold fusion generators powered the... Put your track back. Take it to Griffin, and you two will be meeting A and R reps in no time. Is this supposed to fix everything? I know you hate me, but this, our music, it's more important. I 
Honey, you look stunning. I know, we're extremely jealous. <laughs> My old dress never looked better. Mom, I'm sorry about all the drama that's been going on around this. Mr. Santos. Hello, ladies. Jason, so handsome. And you, Mrs. Santos, like a Mercedes in diamond silver metallic. Hey, <laughs> mala, pogi pa lang itong bata. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the parent. <laughs> What are you doing? You look amazing. You're not so bad yourself, Miss Santos. You know, if there weren't so many people around, I'd probably... Stick to the plan, doofus. Make my parents regret forcing me to do this debut. Hey, you're not paying me to do your dirty work. That's exactly what I'm doing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the cotillion. Manny, I am a lover, not a hater. Since it looks like every girl here has got an available sister... That's the Jay I'm looking for, the guy that acts like an ass. If we're talking about acting, you are the drama queen. You got the tiara and everything. You're right. Ladies and gentlemen. I am a drama queen. Change of plans, Jay. If this is all an act, let's put on a show. This is killer, man. We'll package you, and the labels will eat it up. Can't wait to be packaged. You know, all these rappers glamorizing gang culture, you're the antidote. I was shot in the back, running away from a trivia nerd covered in yellow painted feathers. So we'll bend the truth a little. It <laughs> wouldn't be the first time. You thought of a name yet? I have a name. No, no, like a stage name. Something that sums you up, you and the chair. So that's all I am, just... A guy in a chair. Whatever gets you noticed. So without it, I'm nothing. <laughs> Jimmy, don't take this the wrong way. I mean, with this demo, you and Ashley can go places. You know what? You keep the demo, okay? And whatever happens, talk to Ash, because I'm out. This is Jay, my boyfriend. Hello. So, Manny, where are you going to university next year? I don't know if university is for me. Jay and I have other plans. Manuela's looking into a BSc. My dreams were to pursue acting, but um, since I'm a girl. Yeah, me and this pretty young thing gonna head up to the oil patch. I could be a maid in Fort McMurray, and Jay can work in the tar sands. Excuse me. Manuela, what is this? You were right, Dad. Why should I follow my dreams in acting? And university is expensive. Jay and I will be better off if we just go. You're giving up on your future? Isn't that what you wanted? I just want you to be happy. I am happy, Daddy. I don't understand why you're acting this way. I'm glad you finally noticed. That was acting. That's what I'm doing with the rest of my life. I like a good time, but I always find I need something to break. Cause when you get your back up, yeah, I'm out of luck. I need someone to fix my mistakes. Was it worth it? Were we a sure thing? More like a puzzle. I keep having this dream where I'm running up to court again. That ever happened to you? Well, mine has more to do with scaling Gross Mountain, but no, dreams like that are good, because if you don't believe, then doctors sure won't. Yeah, but with surgery and stem cell, I mean, it's, it's worth looking into. Right? Something tells me you won't take no for an answer. Also good. Yeah, and I've been practicing. Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> Check this out. Trying to impress you, huh? 
You wanna impress me? Get back up. <laughs> when you were with me, with my time, oh, with my time, I'm so sure that I'll be yours, baby, be mine. You've made your point. I admit, you have acting talent. This debut is to celebrate the fact that you're an adult. So, we've agreed you can make your own choices. Really? <laughs> what did she say to him? Well, it was actually his idea. We'll find a good drama program. If you promise to take some science courses, I think it's a fair compromise. How first-generation Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> and now that I'm an adult, I'd like to make my first choice. Will you dance with me, Dad? Is this you acting again? It's the real me this time. I'm proud of you. Since you've come home, you've come a long way. And so have you. Be confirmed. Uh, absolutely. Thank you. Eric, pull a tuition hike story. You sure? That's your girlfriend's story. I don't care if it's Ellie's story. It needs to be pulled. What needs to be pulled? Sorry, Frost. Your story got the kibosh. Something that came up with her subtext lecture series. Whoa, 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 huh? Why? The what? Look, every year the core hosts a speaker to inspire us on the news that's not being covered type stuff. Uh, the press comes, editor hosts the q and It's kind of a big deal. And I just got off the phone with Bill Lyle. You yanked my front page story for the seance guy? Yep, and he's confirmed for the lecture. I slaved over that report. You promised me the lead. I knew that was a bad idea. I heard that. OK, who here thinks Jesse's right in pulling my story? Rather not get involved in any domestic disputes. Guys, this isn't about me and him. This is a professional matter. So be professional, OK? I need you to take this hit for me. Boss. Come on. All right. Good. Uh, you're in horoscopes. Kim, is that with a Y or an I? Y, actually. Cool. So unique. Mm. Well, I'll send you over those quotes, Kim with a Y. Thanks. Jesse with an E. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jesse with an E. You have two settings, off and flirt. She was the one trying to flirt her way into discount ad rates. Could have fooled me. I don't know you had a thing for older women. I don't. I have a thing for women. You know I like my redheads with blue eyes. I have green eyes. Everything okay? No. I want people around here to take me seriously as a journalist and not your girlfriend. Well, you can't be both. 911. Bill, I just bailed on the lecture. What? Oh, this is bad. Yeah, and we have no lead story. Okay, you know what? Run Ellie's piece. Tuition like it is. There you go, Frosh. Thank you. But what about the lecture? Can I help? 
Yeah, if you happen to know someone famous. Hey, your locker partner around? Your BFF Holly J? She's not here. Hey, great jeans. These? Yeah. Thanks. Scooch Mamma Mia. Was Anya bothering you? No. She was just waiting for her boss to arrive. Who, little old me? I'm flattered. Love the jeans, by the way. Actually, yeah, I was just commenting on them. I thought they looked like, yeah, they really highlight your cellulite. <laughs> Anya was too busy nerding out to notice. <laughs> Very funny, truly. See, Anya gives much better compliments than you do. They might be a bit tight. Anya, don't listen to her. Anya, we're going. Let's go. Caitlin! Ellie Nash? What are you doing here? I heard you might be in town, and I thought I'd drop by. And you just happen to know that I'd be right here right now. A little investigative journalism, perhaps? You taught me everything I know. A caffeinated toast to Caitlin Ryan, journalistic royalty among us. And to Ellie for having the chutzpah of a great journalist. How the heck did you pull this off, huh? was one of the most influential environmentalists around. Well, Caitlin was my advisor back at Degrassi. I love to support my alma mater. Ellie was so young, but so determined. And she just soaked everything up like a sponge. Sounds like our frosh. And when I heard she'd be in town for the premier storm of controversy. She convinced me to screen the doc for your lecture series. I can't believe I'm going to get to interview the Caitlin Ryan. Oh, actually, um, Caitlin thought it'd be great if I did the Q&A. Mentee, mentor. I think with our history together, it would be fantastic. Uh, I guess I can't argue with that, can I? You may be asking yourself, Mr. Bince, what kind of crazy game are you trying to play? In Derek. fact, with this bowling ball and these tennis There's balls, something on your you'll be face. demonstrating theories of gravity what is it? expounded upon by Ugliness. Galileo, Descartes, <laughs> Anya, maybe you could continue reading for us? At which point is the tennis ball pulled towards the blowing, um, pulled into the blowing ball? Come on, Anya, clap it out. You've only read the chapter 10 times. Hey, and just let her finish, OK? With her dyslexia, we'll be here until Labor Day. Enough. The tennis ball gets pulled into the bowling ball's gravity. Your lab will show the results of this experiment. Partner up. Hey, Anya, do you want to excuse me? <laughs> We're always partners. What? Everyone already knows you're dyslexic. Don't be so touchy. You're right, Holly J. Sorry. One dog, please. No, a sausage. Why am I so hungry? Oh, well, you've had a busy day. Tracking down Caitlin, poach my Q&A. I did not poach the Q&A from you. Caitlin wanted me to do it. Uh, it's great you have a pro to take you under her wing. You know how rare that is. She's not like a fairy godmother, Jesse. She just wanted to give me a chance, I guess. No, oh, Caitlin's amazing. You have to tell me how she likes the hors d'oeuvres at the dean's reception for her. OK. Howdy, Von Poutmeister. Go to the reception. Tell Caitlin I can't wait to see her tomorrow. Well, come with me, OK? I'll sneak in. Honestly, I've got to prepare for pretty much the most important thing I've ever done. Plus, it, it would be good for you to get to know Caitlin. Well, thanks. You never fail to surprise me, Frosh. Life is full of surprises, boss man. You picked a fine night to try to study. Remind me again why we chose an engineering roommate. Mucho marvelous margarita. Trying to get some work done. But what the 
Coasters, people. Coasters. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. Okay, Mom. Yeah, speaking of, how is your mom doing these days? Oh, come on. You, tequila, your family history. She's fine. She's been sober for 17 months now. Thank you very much. Just asking. And just because she can't drink doesn't mean I can't. Okay. Planet far in crisis. And that's just after one slurp. Okay. It's nice and quiet at the core right now. Bye. Shall I call walk safe? <laughs> Jesse? Ellie? Caitlin? Surprise. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ellie, can we talk, please? My boyfriend slash boss making out with my mentor. What's to discuss? Uh, we had a lot to drink at the reception. Okay, we flirted a bit, but I didn't mean for it to happen. What, to get caught? Why, Caitlin, do you have any idea how awkward this makes the Q&A? How am I gonna face her? You're more concerned about that than about us. Oh, there is no more us, Jesse. Look, I know I'm not perfect, okay? That'd make mistakes. With the famous journalist 10 years older than you. And I hate myself for it. But I won't just walk away. Fine. Fine, then I quit the newspaper. <laughs> Come on. Doesn't it seem a little drastic to you? You're just done? Well, it's not like I want to quit, but you know what people say about us around the office as it is. I can't date the boss, so leaving the core is the only way this is gonna work. And it doesn't mean I'm not still mad at you. Do you wanna hang out with Sav and the guys at lunch? But we have our science project, and I thought you said you needed an A this time. Oh, Anya, you give me so little credit. Old lab. For another A plus, all we have to do is retype, reuse, recycle. You mean cheat? Oh, Holly J, I don't think that's a good idea. Hey, if Mr. Vince is too lazy to put the effort into changing the project, then why should we put the effort into doing it? Because it's not that hard. And what if we get caught? We won't. Look, I'm just trying to get an A for once. Yeah, but I'm not a cheater. Don't get all excited. I mean, if that's what you want to do, it's fine with me. And don't make fun of me in class. I don't tell people that your parents got you a private tutor. Hey, Rochelle, you want to have lunch? Okay, I'll do it. See? You're not that dumb. Luckily, I double-bagged every outfit I own before Griffin's engineering soiree. And you left us with the mess. Nice. We need something that says professional, talented. How about something like this? Great. Jesse kiss Caitlin. Excusez-moi? Jesse and Caitlin? Saw them making out at the core. Ew, I, I can't believe you were ever with that guy. I can't believe I was ever with that guy. Still with him. Oh, hun, pardon my French, but what is wrong with you? Try this on. Caitlin was on his 3B5 list. And when you're in a mature relationship, you can't just walk away. Hun, sometimes walking away is the mature thing to do. What am I doing? I can't do this Q&A with Caitlin. That, hun, is something you can't walk away from. It's a huge opportunity for you. No, it should have been Jesse's opportunity. Maybe this is karma. 
sometimes you have to choose between your professional life and your love life. Don't make the wrong choice. I think I already did. Yellow's a bad idea. Stay right there. If you did your lab correctly, hey, I really you should have found nice. that gravity <laughs> diminished the further the tennis ball got from the bowling ball. Mr. Benz? Yes, Miss Sinclair? That assignment Anya just handed in, it's plagiarized. That's a serious accusation. Right. That's why, even though we're partners, I went ahead and did my own. Is this true, Ms. McPherson? Uh, no, um, a Holly J was the one. She's right. It's my fault. Somehow she got her hands on my sister Heather's old project, but I never thought she'd hand it in. Can you come see me, please? saw that. Never let a college guy talk you into a drinking game. <laughs> um, Caitlin, before we start, don't be nervous. You're gonna be great. Remember, when we're sitting out there, it's just us having a candid conversation. Easier said than done. Your editor had some pretty nice things to say about you last night. He did. Excuse me. I'm gonna need to get you mic'd up. I'll give you all the mortifying details later, okay? <laughs> details. Goody. Just... Whatever. I'll need you in two minutes. Okay. Um, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> An aspiring journalist often worships her idols from afar. But I've been lucky enough to sit alongside a world-class reporter who was happy to share her insights into the world of media. <sighs> Please welcome the filmmaker, the activist, and <laughs> my mentor, Caitlin Ryan. Uh, um, uh, Caitlin. <clears throat> we are honored to have a screening of Storm of Controversy here tonight. Well, thank you for helping me to bring attention to this issue. And you've been raising quite the controversy while on your cross-country tour, haven't you? Well, I definitely like to make people think, and I think that controversy is a big part of change. Yeah, your film seems to encourage responsible consumption, but does that apply to alcohol consumption? <laughs> I suppose it would. I'm not sure what that has to do with climate change. Right. <laughs> um, sorry. Well, I think what you're getting at is that rather than a soberly accept the fact that we're bringing this planet to the brink, humanity is wandering around in a drunken state. No. <laughs> Why'd you hook up with Jesse? Why? Ellie, don't. Um... And how was it, Jesse? Was it worth it? <laughs> Oh, boy. Um. <laughs> Do 
Can we, can can we roll, roll the film, film please? please? What's the story, Morning Glory? Just take it down a few notches, please. You're hungover. Ellie, I thought we talked about this. Hello. Hi. Famous Caitlin Ryan in my house? Uh, could I have a sec with Ellie? I have a bunch of sex. Uh, well, not sex. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Welcome to my abode. So I'm here to ask why you humiliated me in public. What right do you have to comment on my private life? Um, Jesse is my boyfriend. Uh, why didn't you tell me? I'm sleeping with the boss. I thought that might look unprofessional. Ellie, if I'd had any idea, um, Jesse didn't say anything. I know. I know. And that's why I quit the paper. You what? Why would you do that? I wanted me and Jesse to work so badly. You could be a great journalist. Don't let a freshman romance stand in the way of your career. I learned that the hard way. And um, I smelled ooze on your breath last night. Hey, at least now you'll have your independence from the evil Holly J. The evil Holly J. Untrue, but it has a nice ring to it. Hey, Anya, Adam's friend Sav's birthday bash tonight. You want to come? Sounds great. Can we go together? Of course. Later. Are you crazy? Come on, I mean... You need to break free of her. So I'm free to be alone, like you, on a Friday night. I'd rather take a zero on my assignment. Surprised to see you here. I made a mistake. Just trying to fix it. Well, I'm just glad you're back, Frosh. And I promise I will never cheat on you again. I'm back at the core, not with you. And from now on, call me Ellie. <laughs>